Good morning. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog. So if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you come back tomorrow. Wow. You like that? Yeah, I'm wearing the same thing as I wore yesterday. And I'm watching my um, Guilty Pleasure movie. I think today we're going to showcase a bunch of awesome movies. Really? Maybe. I don't, we haven't talked about what we're doing later. Right. The Earhart's just brought up us like redoing a Disney tag that we did a long time ago, which could be a good idea. Could be a good idea, but we'd also I feel like we need to do some prep work on that. Figure out what the answers are. <laughs> yeah. Sarah's starting to edit the vlog now. I'm working. Um, oh, I never said the movie I'm watching, 21 Jump Street. Sarah is her biggest guilty pleasure, 21 Jump yeah. Street. We probably should get off because they're going to probably start swearing soon. But it's Sarah's literally top three favorite movie. It's so good. Who would have thunk? <laughs> Look at them hanging out in the friendly confines. What movie are you watching now? A league of their own. Vlog is loading up right now. I'm still working. Got another call a through. Internet issues, but hopefully it'll hopefully it'll be up soon. I'm sure it's just because everybody in the world's on the internet right now. Did you know Netflix in Europe is slowing down their speeds by 25% because they were scared they're going to break the internet, literally? No. Ooh! Something just happened Sarah doesn't even know about. Hmm. We're getting some movies tonight, Sarah, on Apple, I think. So I got a... Um, I, I would have donated regardless. I donate every eight weeks, but I did get a $20 reward from One Blood, and I can redeem it for an Apple electronic gift card for 20 bucks. So I think I'm going to redeem that, and if it's electronic, we'll get it right away, hopefully. Mm -hmm. And we can buy some new movies on Apple TV. Yay! It's gonna last that's Disney World! That's Disney World. Isn't it weird for us to have local news on the TV? We logged in. Oh, they're zooming in. Oh, they're zooming in right there. Look at that. <laughs> so we don't have um, cable, but we logged in with Sarah's mom's uh, Comcast account. Or not Comcast. What's it called now? Xfinity. Or X X Xfinity account for ABC, NBC, Freeform, all the good stuff. This is probably annoying to hear in the background. So my coworker pinged me right before I got offline or signed off that Orange County is under curfew. And I was like, wait, what? So we put it on the news to see. But it, it's pretty basic. It sounds crazy, I'm sure, for a lot of you who are watching. You hear like, oh, you guys are on curfew. That's scary. Not scary at all. We go through curfews all the time. They put a curfew in every time there's a anything bigger than like a category three or four hurricane I coming through. It's scary, but it is like. I mean, it's, it can be a little alarming. Tense. Yeah, it's intense. But like from 11 p.m. to 5 a.m., they just don't want you out unless you are going to work, going to get food. It's kind of like what they're doing in New York and California, and now even in Illinois. Yeah. It's just only during nighttime. She's a girl, strutting her stuff down Park Avenue. She thinks she's all that and a bag of crackers. We're supposed to be on a walk, not on a sit. You silly goose. She likes watching the cars go by. She likes the breeze flowing through her hair. Ready to go inside? What do you see? A beautiful day in the neighborhood. Matt Rich, cannot thank you enough. Just enough structure, just enough support, but lightweight. And I, thank you. Um, so what Peter's gonna do is go around to notable spots, right? Is that the plan? Yeah, just two. Two notable Mr. Rogers spots because we ended up buying. We bought two movies with that gift card. Beautiful we, day in the neighborhood. Yep, and The Help, which is probably the most classic family movie that we have. Yeah. So it was just nice. We actually had it on DVD, but it was just nice to add it to the digital. Yeah. Um, and then Beautiful Land Neighborhood, that's the one movie, I think, since like all of AMC Stubbs and all of Movie Pass. Remember those days? We were shysters. We loved it. We weren't um, shysters. We, we were just, it was a wild west. It was the wild provided. west, and we utilized it to 110%. Um, but I don't know how we didn't end up seeing, I feel like it was, was it around the miscarriage and all the craziness yeah. of the holidays? That's, that's why we didn't end up going to see this movie in theaters. But we love Mr. Rogers. We love Tom Hanks. And we, living in Winter Park now, actually have a few, like, he went to school here. I'll show you on my run. Yeah. That's what we're doing.
first of two Mr. Rogers stops. That R is not for Rogers, that R is for Rollins College. This is actually the Floyd's. Um, but I got my hair cut at, it's closed right now. Anyway, thank you for your support. We will see you soon. That's awesome. But this mural is done by Floyd's because Mr. Rogers went to school here. He lives here. I don't know where the house is, but recently there was, um, which was it? The Winter Park Road Race. They ran past a house that Mr. Rogers lived in. But I pass this all the time and I always think how cool it is, but won't you be my neighbor? We all need a little bit of Mr. Rogers in our life right about now. All right, second stop of the run. Rollins College itself. So Rollins College is, I think all the campuses, or if not most of them, are here in Winter Park. I'll go this way, I'm at the corner of Park Avenue and Fairbanks, right before like, what you call downtown Winter Park, which we go on a lot with Park Avenue. But right here's the soccer field and some of the schools back there. But, but my goal today is just to have a nice enjoyable run during the daylight, get some fresh air while social distancing through Park Avenue. on our adventure, Evie. So, I forgot to mention that we actually talked to the people at Market on South and they did not suggest that we buy the bigger portion and freeze it. There's only two of us. Um, we wanted to buy this like pan that served like 30 people, but there, again, there's only two of us. And so we were hoping on getting it and supporting them, but then like breaking it down and freezing it. And they did not, they, they were honest, which was nice. Um, and so we're still gonna go, <clears throat> excuse me, and get a quart we're gonna keep going for $20, back. and then we'll just go back as long as they're open. Here we are, marking on south to get our quart of buffalo to go. This is how excited Eve is for Peter's return. You see him? Not yet. Just like all parameters. And then she needs a drink of water. Where is he? Where's Peter? Another thing that I forgot to say that I meant to say, she's still on the prowl, um, was that that song that Andrew played was Rescued, which was like my favorite Jack's Mannequin song in high school. It was like my number one played song on iTunes. Um, and enough people requested it yesterday and he played it today. And the reason that's so special is because I've seen him live seven times now seven i think um and he's never played that live i've never seen him play it live and even past facebook sarah um from my high school days would just complain about it because it was my favorite and i never heard him live so it was super special hearing it um live today i'm getting some cookies i decided i always gotta get that extra especially when sarah's out there with eve and i'm in here ordering, I'm gonna do a chocolate chunk and a double chocolate chunk. But that sounds delicious, so does all that. But we're just doing the mac and cheese. We're gonna go home and make some Brussels sprouts. All right, we're home. Are you ready for this? You ready for this reveal? Oh, ho, ho, ho. I see why it would not freeze well. This looks divine. We are eating two big bowls the whole entire court in one sitting. <laughs> All gone. Worth it! We will show this little quick recipe. This isn't something that's from your pantry, which we had requests to do, like quick and easy um, plant-based options, but this is still a decent, a decent recipe to share. Yeah. 
Okay, um, I put a whole bag of Brussels sprouts, have them, a drizzle of olive oil, salt, pepper, and garlic, and then the sauce will go separate. Don't cook it with the sauce on because then they get too juicy. Juicy. Alrighty, we're gonna make this sauce in this beer bowl with no measuring. Um, are we in focus? Maybe. This is the soy sauce we currently have. It's really not good. Um, I always suggest getting name brand soy sauce, but because there's other stuff going in, it's fine for today. What is that, like half a cup-ish? Yeah, a decent amount. And then dark brown sugar. If you don't, that was, that was a decent amount. If you don't have brown sugar, um, agave nectar or honey works. Definitely want to get it all mixed together. It will settle a little bit, so be sure, like before you pour it on your Brussels sprouts, to um, mix it again. Now we're gonna put some garlic, just a little sprinkle, a little sprinkle of ginger. These are the Brussels sprouts that Peter said taste like Ohana pot stickers, so. If that's your jam, it's a good amount. And then red pepper flakes, depends on how spicy you want it. So last time I did this, I actually put the Brussels sprouts into a bowl and like slowly added it. I recommend doing that just so that it um, distributes evenly. Oh, I never said, we're, I think we baked these for like, what do you think, Peter, like 30 minutes? Yeah. Like 30 minutes? Um, or until your desired crispiness. And then I'll let them cool, put them in a bowl, add this slowly. And there are your Ohana Brussels sprouts. Here is the final product. I actually didn't end up using all of the soy sauce concoction. Um, yeah, that's how it looks. Alrighty, we're gonna watch this here movie. Do you like it? I, I love it so far. Yeah? Yeah, do you like it? Mm -hmm. I know you like, um, like you're more of a happy-go-lucky kind of guy, which is like what Fred Rogers is, but it's also a lesson, so I just hope it all ends up happy and then you still like it at the end. <laughs> I do stress a lot about issues, but I feel like that's what Mr. Rogers talks about, about handling those issues and doing those. Did you catch what I wanted to point out in this mid-movie review, because I'm about to go make a, a little moxie pop drink, um, but I like how he said at one point, in an interview, I don't know who was that with, who you put on the jacket with? Do you know who that was? I don't know. But it was a snippet of a old, old interview, interview, and the interviewer said, like, I don't know, what do you, what do you think of the world? It feel, just feels like there's a lot of hopelessness in the world, and like, that resonated with me, like, every, everything going on right now, and Fred Rogers just said, like, I think we can do a lot, and with TV programming and any kind of, any kind of means of, of reach reach and like that's so much today with instagram and twitter and youtube and everything and he says i just think we need to get the message out that each one of us is precious mm -hmm. and i think that's so true and so important today as we all are practicing our social distancing and going through troubles because it's not easy for a lot of people to to be alone or to be distant in society because of social anxieties and and mental illness and heavy. everything it's just heavy so we are all precious and remember that guys yeah, I will go watch Mr. Rogers. Maybe you'll feel good. I feel like we need to get a Mr. Rogers box set. Does that exist? Yeah, probably. Is that on Apple TV? Apple? If it's not, can you get it on Apple TV? Sure. What do you think? Thoroughly enjoyed it. It went by so fast. It was a two-hour movie that went by so fast. I'm much more honored to live in Winter Park now, knowing that he went to school here, that he, he, he lives here. He walked these streets. Makes me want to go look at if they have any master's programs at Rollins that I could take. <laughs> um, I, it was not, oh, I just punched our shelf. Sorry. Um, uh, it was not what I thought it was going to be. It was better. Yeah. Makes you, uh, like, self-reflect the whole time on being a good person and just, like, valuing every person no matter what's going on in the world. And just, I really like something that he said, like, if it's mentionable, it's manageable. And I feel like that's, like, a lot of the topics 
we talk about not even just like all the time but just yeah the specific general. context was about death he says death is human human anything human is mentionable and anything mentionable is manageable no, and i think that goes towards like us with miscarriage us with infertility us with sharing a lot of our life mm -hmm. whether it's politics yeah. or work or other troubles mm -hmm. like or even like stuff with my dad or yeah. being away from our family and stuff like that so it's all human so that means it's mentioned it's worth mentioning and if it's worth mentioning it's manageable yeah march 20th how simple is it to see that we can only be happy now and there will be never and there will never be a time when it is not now wow that was a tongue twister <laughs> gerald jepolsky so long farewell love eaters and I do. that's a movie we just bought with the last bit of our peter's never seen I've never seen it like all the way through, so maybe we'll watch it tomorrow. I also just put on Facebook if we asking if we should go live. What are you looking at? <laughs> just looking at you. Oh, sorry, I had the camera up too high. I was looking so I just deeply asked at you. Facebook if we should go live tomorrow and Sunday. Okay. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me. It's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.